Hello guys, welcome to another video. It's me, Laser Magma. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to shade. So Laser Magma, what is shading? Shading is basically coloring and darkening an illustration or a figure. Also, when you shade, you are giving the drawing or the illustration more tones, values, making it look more realistically three-dimensional. But before you learn how to shade, you have to learn what are lights, shadows and highlights and how would they affect the drawing or the illustration. You will have to know the basics of using a pencil, like how to hold a pencil, how to or when to add pressure on a pencil, the type of pencils and their effect, also the thickness of the paper. Don't worry, I will cover all these points, so watch the video till the end. But before I start, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button to get the latest updates. Let's begin. So the tools that you will need are a P pencil, a 2P pencil, a 5B pencil, and a 6P pencil an eraser, any type of eraser, and a two nail sharpener. Why a two nail sharpener? A two nail sharpener will make the tip of your pencil more longer that will help in the shading process. First, I will explain to you why did I select those pencils. As you can see in the picture in front of you, those are the gradings of pencil shading. The lighter parts are the edge pencils, those pencils will give you lighter shading as you can see, but will leave a mark on the paper. So as you add more layers to the paper with the edge pencil, it will leave a mark and the paper will be unable to receive more layers of graphite or lead. On the other hand, the P pencils are much darker and will not leave that much marks on the paper but as you go from 1B to 9B you're gonna notice that the layers of graphite are getting darker and smudgy on your hand and on paper and as for HP pencils they are mixed between H and B pencils the HP pencils are the pencils which we use in our daily life Next, I will demonstrate for you how can H or a P pencil affect the pores of the paper. For example, those curves are the pores of the paper. The paper that I used in this video has a thickness of 150 gram per meter square. So as the thickness of the paper increase, the ability of the paper to receive more graphite or lead is higher. So for example, when you fill the pores of the paper with the edge pencil graphite or lead, the pores will be filled completely and the shading will be so light, so when you try to add another layer of graphite, the pores will not be able to receive more layers. As for B pencils, when you try to fill the pores with B pencils graphite, you will get a darker results. Also, when you go higher from B, to 9B, you will notice that when you try to shade, the pores will not be filled as edge pencils, so you can add another layers of graphite or shading. Next step is how to hold a pencil and pressure control. By holding the pencil from the lower tip like this, you can add pressure on the pencil and shade from the dark to lighter areas. By increasing the pressure in the dark areas and decreasing it in the lighter areas. So it should go like this with the B pencil. As for the 6B pencil, it should go like this. You will notice it is much darker than the B pencil. And the empty pores are appearing, so you can add another layers easily. Next step is applying pressure by the pencil weight itself. This step will help you to shade light tones areas easier. 
So you have to hold the pencil from the upper tip like this and start to shade. After that is to apply layers of shading on a figure, for example this circle. Shade lightly, then from edges of circle add more pressure as you go from left to right and decrease the pressure when you go right. Pause the video if you want and try applying these methods several times to get used to it. Next is to learn how the lights and the shadows behave. For example, there is a light source here. The light source will cast a light on this circle. This area will contain the highlight. So, as you go down like this, it will get darker and darker, then the object will cast its shadow here and it should look like this at the end and that's it guys for today's video please tell me your opinion down below in the comment section also click here to subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch these two videos. See you later into another video.